G'day YouTube, welcome back. One MJ here. So it's Monday afternoon here in Australia. That means it's Monday morning over in the States. Uh, and the market, it's up a little bit, so 1.5%. So obviously we didn't get the sort of weekend sell-off, although I guess, you know, we had a bit of a, a pullback around that sort of Thursday, Friday, which might have given people a bit of a scare. But that 10 sort of thousand five hundred dollar level, it's holding really, really well at the moment. And I can I I believe it's going to continue to do that. I don't think it's going to go much lower. Doesn't mean I can't be wrong. None of this is financial advice. It's just my personal opinion. But as we can see, we're now up around the kind of $10,600 level. So seven days, you know, we've dropped down 1%. Uh, but in the last 24 hours, went up sort of nearly a percent from so from uh, the last 24 hours. So not too bad. Now there are some good movers though which I'm really pleased about. So Celsius Network, I'm not in Celsius Network, I would love to be. You know, look at that over the last seven days, they've done extremely well. But XRP, up 7% in 24 hours. So well done XRP. Cardano, uh, making some good moves there. Obviously there's talk about uh, contracts and things being put on there. Uh, so that's really big for Cardano. Cosmos, there we go, 5.9%. Uh, so there's a few that are doing uh, pretty well uh, there at the moment. So yeah, not too bad. Obviously, the market's still been down a little bit over the last sort of, you know, little while. But again, I do think we're going to hold this price Bitcoin. I don't think we're going to go too much lower. We can go over here and have a look at uh, the chart in the sort of more long term. And as we can see, there we go. All right, took a while to get there. So we had that, you know, big sell-off a little while ago, pumped up, had a bit of a sell-off, pumped up, had a bit of a sell-off. And as I've said, this is just coiling tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. And we can see this trend, this trend line is still holding. And even this greater trend line uh, is definitely acting as resistance at the moment. When we get in nice and close, there's that greater trend line holding as resistance. And we're in a very, very tight squeeze at the moment. So really, you know, we've only got a few days and we should know one way or the other what's gonna happen. Could it break lower? Yeah, look, it could. I just don't think it's going to. And I'll show you why I don't think. All right, so here, we've got an article on Cointelegraph. Why traders expect boring Bitcoin and altcoin price action until 2021? Look, you know, I guess that's possible. There's only a few months left uh, in the year already, so, uh, already. We're in October, so really we've got November, December. So yeah, I suppose you could say boring. But let's have a look at what they say. Traders expect a slow quarter four for Bitcoin and altcoins, especially as BTC's dominance rate begins to climb higher. Bitcoin price has been stuck in a range for weeks now, but traders generally expect a slow fourth quarter for the top ranked digital asset. In 2018 and 2019, quarter four closed net negative, injecting a bit of bearish sentiment into the market. In the near term, a boring quarter four of further downside from Bitcoin price could cause altcoin prices to dump further. Well, that'll hurt. My a number of my altcoins are, altcoins are hurting enough already. But, you know, that's the way it goes. I'm in it for the long term. I'm an investor, not a trader. At the moment, multiple technical anal anal analysts are closely watching the bounce in the Bitcoin dominance index to warn against an altcoin market pullback. All right, so basically it just goes on to say they don't expect too much to happen over the next, you know, little bit until next year anyway. So, you know, three months, two and a half months. But let's have a look here. So something else that contradicts that. These three trends show Bitcoin is primed to see a strong breakout. Bitcoin's price action has undergone extreme tightening over the last few days. Uh, over the past few days as the market have become extremely uh, indecisive. Three technical trends indicate that the cryptocurrency is primed to undergo a strong breakout, a crypto trader says. Bitcoin is in a symmetrical triangle formation. That's the same as the one that's the greater, uh, I know that's a different one, that's right, but we've got a similar thing over here. So that's that symmetrical triangle. Uh, and it's reached the apex of the triangle. This suggests that, uh, that it will soon see a strong breakout. 
Now, it doesn't mean it couldn't be down, though. So it could be up or down. We're all waiting to see. Bitcoin's market volume is declining, suggesting a breakout will happen soon. The width of the one-hour Bollinger Band is getting tighter. All right, so this is on the one hour. There we go. Expert analysis says, uh, analysis are optimistic despite negative news that could push Bitcoin lower than it is now. Simon Dedick, a co-founder of crypto research firm Blockfire, recently stated, once you understand media is nothing but a powerful market manipulator, you can start counter trading it. Non-reflecting, uh, yeah, non-reflecting people can panic dump with fear. Uh, ratings, I think, radiating news. Smart people uh, make bank on it. Buying every dip on BTC and ETH, uh, FA, FA, so uh, hasn't changed. What type of person are you? Yeah, well, I'm the investor and I haven't sold anything and I don't plan on. Now, this was echoed by Willie Wu, a prominent Bitcoin analysis known for tracking on train trends. On train trends. Sorry, struggling with my English. Wu has recently asserted that Bitcoin is primed to pop higher, even in the face of the aforementioned news events. A reason why he is so optimistic about Bitcoin is that there has been a spike in coins that have changed hands, which often takes place when Bitcoin is at a medium turning point. So, another one over here. Bitcoin volatility hits a 23-month low as cryptocurrency uh, shrugs off BitMEX and Trump illness. So basically, that's the volatility. It's been getting quite low, and now we're down at this really, really low point. And usually what happens after we get a really, really low point is it starts to get quite volatile. Now, that doesn't mean that it can't dump down the other way, so, so it could get volatile in the reverse, uh, and go downwards, but I actually think it's going to spike upwards. So it's all of these things that makes me think we're getting primed to see some action. Now, last but not least, we go over the fear and index greed. We're still on that sort of, you know, roughly still in the kind of neutralish zone a little bit, but again, still kind of on the fear side, definitely on the fear side, not kind of we are on the fear side because this is the halfway point, so we're leaning towards fear. So we got all this fear in the market, all these things happening, and Bitcoin's just coiling tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. And again, it was just saying over here that you bet against, uh, sorry, yep, go against the markets because the media's saying there's all this fear, there's all this stuff going on. And you know, people who don't have strong hands and strong belief, they're panic selling. And guess what's happened? People are buying up this panic selling though. As I said, I believe micro strategies are, you know, slow, uh, methodical purchasing of Bitcoin is being uh, copied by other big institutional buyers. Now, not a whole lot. It'll take Bitcoin to break that kind of $14,000 level. So we've got to break this level. Once we break that level, you'll see a flood of people starting to come in because at the moment they're all still a little bit hesitant. But again, you just got to look at the bigger scale, the bigger time frame. This is just going up. Yes, does it dip down? Of course it does, but it just keeps going up. And I honestly think in the very near future, we are primed to break out. And I think we're going to get up to this $14,000 level pretty quickly. I think Trump's going to come through. Uh, uh, he's going to pull through the coronavirus. I think there will be a further stimulus. And that is going to be the catalyst uh, to really pump this uh, exactly when it's going to happen, that's the question. But I'm expecting uh, a breakout to the upside. Again, that doesn't mean we couldn't maybe pull back a little bit. So sorry, I come in here, so we're up here. That doesn't mean we couldn't maybe pull back and come down and again, touch this $10,300 level. But really, I don't see us going much lower than the $10,400 level at the moment. That doesn't mean I'm right. I absolutely could be wrong. I've been wrong before. But I'm generally on the right side more often than not and that's why I'm in this market if I was just constantly wrong all the time I wouldn't be in it I wouldn't be in any market I'd just have someone else uh, look after my funds for me but I don't like the idea of paying other people who have paid no attention to the cryptocurrency markets and slagged it off for such a long time and are still holding off on the sidelines because those other big sort of buyers they're gonna wait until it gets to here before they start to jump in that's a big gain uh, for us. So for me, I'm in. I'm expecting a breakout to the upside. Let me know what you think. Do you think we're going to break out to the upside or do you think we're going to break out to the low side? And you agree with what they said that it's best to bet against uh, 
the kind of trend sometimes because again the trend is by you know it's picked up on google and that by the public and it's you know not smart investors who are panicking and going should i sell now and all the rest of it and that's where we get this fear and ingre- uh, greed and index thing and at the moment a lot of people are really scared uh not the true uh enthusiasts who've been around for a while it's all the kind of newbies and people who don't understand markets and the big whales and that they do bet against the market when it gets really really bearish that means the price has got low and they'll just start to buy it up and then when everyone else starts to FOMO in and they see it and it's getting into this exuberance they sell off and they wait for it to get back here and start to buy it up again it's just a repeating pattern they bet against not the entire market but they bet against the dumb money that's probably the best way to put it so again I'm an investor I've bought I'm holding and look if some of mine go to zero and I lose the money then so be it because I know some of them won't some of them will do well some of them will do really well so I don't panic in this kind of stuff and that's the best part about being an investor is all you got to do is just sit and hold yes there will be times where it's going to hurt to hold but look it does that in normal markets at times that happened we go over here we see this big fall off here this bitcoin market looks a lot like the s p 500 and the dow jones and all that kind of stuff they have a very similar chart pattern the difference is the drops are a lot bigger when bitcoin drops but in saying that the pumps are a lot bigger in bitcoin and just the crypto market in general so they're the things that you need to keep an eye out for again let me know your thoughts do you think we're going to break out to the upside or do you think we're going to break to the downside do you think the fear will take over the market and that that'll be it you know we'll see another big uh, corrective sell-off or do you think all of this has been coiling into this fine point and that we are going to rocket to the upside i really think we're going to the upside My belief is, again, we might come down and bump off this major trend line. Look, we could even come down and maybe test that kind of 10,000, you know, 100, maybe $10,000 level. But I just don't see it. My bet is that we're going to come down, probably bounce off this, and we're going to come down to somewhere around about the $10,500 level. Again, it could be lower. We could come down and test that $10,300 level. But then we're going to rock it up this trend line is going to be broken or this trend line is going to be broken well there's three trend lines we got here this is the more shorter term one this is the semi long term one and this is the real long term one and i would be surprised if we break through that uh the the greater trend line I, i would be really surprised i'm expecting to the upside anyway if you like my material please hit that like button down below i am trying to get my videos uh seen by more people And I need people to hit that like button. Uh, Please hit subscribe if you like my material. I do daily videos. There is the odd occasion where for whatever reason work or something gets in the way uh, and my videos come out a little bit late, but generally daily videos. All right, stay safe. Be kind to one another. Looks like most of us should be on that gain train at the moment. And I'll see you next time.